Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Last we left off, we had a lot of help from Kasumi Goto in stopping a Hanar from destroying everything. Yeah. Anyway, we are about to have a word with Commander Bailey. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm here to talk to you about releasing Jonas Adaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. I'm sorry. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. Hmm. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the C-Sec outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Hmm. Okay. So, the message that I got in my mission journal was completely inaccurate. That's good to know. Alright. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed. And, and that conversation is uh, repeating itself. All right. Thinking of going? And now we can talk with the CSAC assistant. That's that's great. All right, how's it going, buddy? I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell commander. You can speak with her via that console. Okay. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. <laughs> I see. Maybe she's not that bad. spying on me now. Ah, oh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. Is that you so? You killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You have to move on. And I will, once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. <laughs> Is that right? Saying my second in command is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen, seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Mm hmm. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Sane, huh? Seems like... Hmm. There was a little bit of a forced name drop there. So it's probably a biggest clue that we're going to get for what we need to do now. Do, do. A lot of back and forth in the Citadel and... You know, mm. One moment, please. I, I I like doing these little small things. Now they build the story so much. I hate this guard duty assignment. I hate everything right now. Nothing to do about it. We each stand duty in our own ways. At least your wife and the kids went on that trip you mentioned a while back. Where was it again? They canceled the trip. Donated the funds to some charity when Earth was hit. Oh. And then... Paladin. Shit. I'm sorry. 
Oh no. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're even the same fucking CSEC guard that was staring at me before. The fuck's your- Did you just trap me here? You just trapped me here! You fucking douchebag! The- You- uh, I'm stuck! Move, you asshole! Ah! Literally? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm going to be right back, guys, because the game literally fucking trapped me because I decided to eavesdrop on a couple of Turians. You fucking douchebag! Okay. So, um, yeah, thanks guys, that was great. Okay, so I'm gonna go pop back and check in with Arya. You are probably making him a little uncomfortable there, ma'am, but, uh, let's see. Anything else going on over here? How's it going, James? When we get back to Earth, I'm by. That's great. Fucking thank you. Hey, Arya, question. Look who's here. So what's on your mind, Shepard? So, here's a question. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another, chain of command and all that crap. Hmm. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever works. Okay. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Well, there's no one here, but, uh, let me see if I can track down this scene. Maybe I need to speak with Bailey himself? He might know where this scene is. Yeah, so that was fun. I had to go back and redo. I mean, it was only about five minutes worth, but, uh, it was still something. Let's see. Aha! Now arriving at Docking Bay E24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Okay. Ooh. A ship. Weather satellite. I'm getting weird readings. I'm network admin, so I'm going to have to check the hardware. I'm unscrewing the panel when the radio goes quiet. Then I notice these red dots on Karshan. Thought I'd just... stared in the sun. Then I saw the smoke. Reaper ships. Bastards! Hmm. He's talking back with the human now. Hmm. What about the food we were promised? It's been allocated to the Presidium. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vicarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. I see. Men, get ready for trouble. Why? Not here for that, Zane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? Sort My of. idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Saying you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. 
Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? Yeah. Why not? I see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. <laughs> good man. That sounds like a good plan. I don't know about you, but I'm curious to know what uh, Jonah's reaction is going to be to all of this. I bet it's going to be just pleasant and obscenity free. Shepard, the council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Talok of all people got him to do it. Crazy. You can say that again. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Shepard. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please so, Jeff moment, gonna please. poke back over there to see if maybe... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a direct link to her again, We're but, uh... It would be worth I checking. I don't know. Do, 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 looping conversations. Don't need to hear them a million times. I've already heard almost everything that everyone wants to say. Do, 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 do. No, nothing in here for me? Oh, well, then I guess I get to go back to Commander Bailey waiting for me. Maybe he doesn't have anything further to say, but it's worth it just to see him again. Cause he's awesome if corrupt. I wonder if that's why Udina likes him. I don't know why I'm singing like this. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Uh -huh. Commander Bailey, I'm coming for you, you fucking Tori, and I hate you. You trapped me, you asshole. Hate. So. It never rains, but it pours, eh, Shepard? That bad, huh? Things here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about. Rumors flying about the war. People are walking around, eyeballing each other, and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. Okay. Uh, I think we're good. It'll probably get worse before... Yeah, if it ever gets... We'll try to make it get better. Hmm. <laughs> so... After all of that... All that's really left is to, uh... Check in with Arya because I believe that we have secured her all three. Welcome, Commander Shep. One moment, please. Now arriving at. So I thought about talking Perfect. to Commander Bailey some more about that guy scamming the refugees. Really? What did he say? Any idea how busy he is? He said I thought about talking to him, not that I did. Damn it! One of these days I'm going to shoot you. Nah, you won't. I'm the only one willing to stand here with you all day. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, I hate you. That's what you get for trapping me. A lot of me threatening you uselessly. I can't really do anything, even though I am a specter. Hey, Arya. Look who's here. Mm -hmm. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Good. Is there anything on your mind? What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Hmm. Eclipse Max and Vorcha Legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. Hmm. Okay. Whatever you say, Arya. Don't be a stranger. I mean, obviously, I just empowered her tremendously. Um. Again, glad you're getting into the groove, but, uh. Ooh, I can drink?
Okay. Well, that animation seems familiar. Alright, let's dance. Dance, fucking dance. Oh, yeah. It's the same animation every time, but whatever. Shepard's had a little to drink. Wait. Can I do more? I think I can do more. Is it going to affect me? That's a new angle. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing any particular effect. I'm not getting all wonky or anything. And okay, so Shepard just decided to chill for a couple of minutes, I guess. You know, I love how even when there isn't even... I mean, it's good, but even when there isn't, like, you know, any kind of particular tracking, everyone drives in a straight line out here. Just saying. Right, and then actually that should clear up a lot of the stuff that I have to do here. My rune, okay. Uh, Priory Sarkesh. Hmm. Right. Well. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Oh! No, that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go do something else. What am no I doing? Bay D24. One moment, please. D2. As opposed to D24. Okay. Or wait, was I? Now arriving it. at Docking Bay E24. Emergency civilian housing. Oh. Right. This is where I wanted to go. Hey. Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. It'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Mm. Goodbye, Robert. I'm glad you came. Mm. I just need a few moments to myself. Yeah, I understand. Poor Steve. What hell, one hell of a recording, too, to leave behind. Okay, now it's time to go back to the Normandy. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Alright. So, what about you guys? Okay, first deployment is somewhere near Palabra. Okay, so that conversation is now looping. <laughs> Oh, do I? Oh, well, I was a little busy. Met some old friends at Citadel Memorial. Shepard, after you left the refugee memorial, I, said an, I met an old friend who was helping out colonists with logistics. She and her buddies are ex-Alliance pilots, damn good ones, who left the service to build a life on the frontier. They're homeless now, and when I told them about the forces being collected, they were eager to join. I've attached their contact information to forward to Hackett. Hopefully they can help. Thanks again for helping me through this. I'm feeling good. Maybe I think I'll hit purgatory next trip to the Citadel. Want to join me for some drinks? Steve. <laughs> oh! So you see, there are benefits, in fact, to having a little chatty chat with your... with your, uh, with your crew. Steve! Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee moment. Yeah. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Good. Glad I could help. I'm gonna cry. This one's primed and ready to go. I'm gonna cry. 
I have too many emotional attachments to fictional characters. Hang it in there. Good. Hey, you. Wait, 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 wait. come back in, come back in. Stay. Good puppy mech. Good puppy mech. Okay. The CIC. How you doing, Sam? Commander. Okay, that was uh, in depth. And seems like a good guy. He'll get his people moving in the right direction. He's a good guy with his homeworld on fire. All he committed to is this war summit. A war summit we have to host since the Salarians won't even let a Krogan on one of their ships. Yeah, that's a little self-centered, but it's the baby steps healing a lot of old grudges. Oh, hey. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Gareth said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibration. <laughs> this sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, that there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way... The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Hmm. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan. And I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. Yeah. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. That is one hell of a blessing. Gee, I wonder why Garrus is speaking highly of me. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. That's tough. Oh, bye. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavin. And mine with Earth. Ah. And then, yep, you can see that we are starting to get up to where our minimum needs to be. We've been gaining a whole bunch of new uh, fleets, the Terminus Fleet, the Blood Packs, the uh, Blue Suns and Eclipse are all joining in, Spectre units, ah. and the Hanar have sent their warships to engage the Reapers to repay Commander Shepard for saving their homeworld. Though their navy is relatively small, the Hanar also have provided the services of their best Drell combat specialists. They are accomplished spies, saboteurs, and assassins. Aha. Wonderful! And... Yes. Rogue fighter pilots. That's nice. Alliance Fifth Fleet. Kasumi Goto. Ha! <laughs> nice. So she's doing her part, and uh, I am definitely out of time for this installment of Let's Play Mass Effect 3, but now that we're back in the game, next time we're probably going to be trying to do the diplomacy thing. Yay! Hope to see you then.